Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter for 12 by 12 cardstock shop. I am going to be doing a fun 3D letter for you guys today. Um, similar to this one, this one's a little bit different because it's a shaker, so there's sequins inside, but today we're doing, so I want to do boo for Halloween. So we're going to be doing the B today, and I'm going to show you how to incorporate lights and do some really fun things. But I have this here for um, as a sample so that you can see how thick it is and how it can stand up because this one's already done. So, all right, let's get started. Um, the first thing is, I, you know, you can, I've seen these templates everywhere. So if you have a cutting machine like a Cricut or a Silhouette, I've seen it on there. Um, most of them uh, will come with score lines. So the score lines, you can do a couple of different things. You can keep them as a score line. So they look like, just like a folded line, right? But this is actually, I like to do them as cut lines because folding it is so much easier. You want to fold it both ways so that it's sort of flexible and ready for uh, ready for us to kind of, you know, tape it all together or glue it all together. So I do, um, I've done this so many different times in so many different ways. It's whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, and what I mean by that is you can use a hot glue gun. You can use a, um, you can use double sided tape. You can use, what did I leave out? Uh, adhesive glue, right? I'm today, I'm gonna be using my glue gun. So I just tried glue, I used the glue gun on this one. So I wanna give it another shot today to see if I really do like it more. <laughs> but that's crafting in general, right? Figuring out, um, even if that's the most recommended uh, way of doing something if you're not comfortable with it then I say you do you <laughs> all right so we're just bending these so these basically go all the way around so that it gives your letter the depth um, and then it can stand up so we're doing the letter B and I'm going to show you what the oh no we're doing the letter O my apologies so we're doing the letter O, we're adding this haunted house. And if you could see right here, I have some fun lights that we're gonna incorporate. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So today is just kind of about um, picking different images that you like. You know, I didn't, this doesn't come in a set or anything, right? So I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do some spooky lights. And so I, I thought the haunted house would be the easiest thing to do. And then it seemed kind of um, empty, so bare. So I got two bats, two random bats, and decided to add that to the to the mix, to the mix. Okay. All right. And then I have some just because it's October. Um, this is like you know the cobweb-ish type thing. So somewhere along this O, we're going to be adding that. All right. The next thing I want to talk about is just the beautiful paper. I don't know if you've noticed already, but look at this paper, just that sheen. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It almost feels like, um, I don't know, like a sophisticated black. <laughs> I know, I'm making things up right now. These are the bats. I mean, just the colors though. And then for the moon, I picked this. This is the mirror paper and just, I just love it. It's going to give us that silver, I don't know, like full moon kind of feel. So, all right. Now, I want to show you how the O works. So basically, you have a bottom layer and you have a top layer. Everything's going to go on, all of our decorations will go on top of this. But you see, basically, these we're going to fold. This is the inner of my, of the O, right? Because it's small and you can tell it fits right here. So, the tabs get glued like this, and that's gonna give us the depth that we need here. And then these will go on the outside, and then our top layer goes there. Now, I do have a tip for you. I do like to grab a paper clip, so which I forgot to do. <laughs> I'm gonna grab one right now. When I'm dealing with this right here, I am gonna be using my Barely Art glue, which I think, I, I can't remember if it's on the website yet or if it's coming, but um, the tab. I like to glue the tab here. So I'm gonna apply the glue 
on this little tab. Okay. And then when you glue it to this thing, since I don't want to be holding it, it doesn't take that long to dry. However, I don't want to be standing here the whole time doing it. <laughs> so what you can do is you can grab a paper clip, stick it in, and it will hold as soon as I can get this on. Of course, right? Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me today? Oh my goodness, look at it. <laughs> I am fumbling right now. And the thing is, I can't even bl blame hunger on this. I just had dinner. Oh my gosh. And now it's dry, so it doesn't even matter. I can't even make adjustments to it. Okay. So it's going to go like this. And basically, the tabs are going to fold out. And we're going to glue down the tabs like this. And then it'll go in like so. Makes sense. And then this, the tabs will go out also, and our top layer is going to sit on top like this. All right, okay. So this one is glued, uh, the tabs are glued, so I'm gonna put it aside. This, I like to fold, and you can do this outer layer two ways. So there's a tab, right? So basically, you know it's gonna connect like this, so here is our long side. So obviously it's gonna go here. The O is kind of easy to, to assemble just because you know exactly where things can go, right? The two long sides can only go on the two long sides. <laughs> so the two tabs can be connected here and here. Now you have two ways to do this. I can't decide which way I like best, which is uh, do your tabs first and then put it down or do the two tabs and then the mini tabs attached to each other. So I'm going to do them separately today. But what I will do is, what you wanna do is you do wanna put your, your middle in because once you put your outside in, it's really hard to get your hands inside to adjust this. So for this, what I'm gonna do is, now because we're closing this in, and what I mean is, this is not closed, I mean, it's closed in, but you can see inside, right? But this one is gonna be completely closed in like this. So what I would recommend is we can use the Barely Art glue here because the Barely Art glue gives us time to adjust a little bit. So that's why I like using it for this. But um, if we, you know, it depends on how rough your 3D letters are. And um, sometimes I wanna just add the, um, my uh, glue gun, my hot glue gun, just to make sure that it doesn't move anywhere. Okay, so let's flip this over because all my tabs are out. I'm gonna put my glue down. And sometimes, you know, because of the way we did the, um, the way I did the tab. Sorry, there we go. It's hard to really fold it and align it perfectly. I'm not going to lie about that at all. <laughs> but that's what our cobwebs are for. That's what the design is for, right? So we're going to have the big haunted house. And then wherever there are flaws, we're going to be putting the cobwebs down. <laughs> So we're not going to worry about lining this up completely. And I highly recommend that for just when you're doing 3D letters to keep that in mind. All right. So here is our next piece. I'm going to glue down um, I'm gonna glue down this part first. I'm actually just going to glue, put glue on all four tabs right now. And then I'm gonna make my way and put it down on here. Okay, so it's down. 
What I like to do is take any tool that you have. So I'm taking one of my weeder tools and I'm just gonna press down just to make sure that my glue is activated. It's a little bit easier to get my um, tool in here as opposed to my fingers because then my hand doesn't have to go all the way in there. Okay, so that's down. Then we need to do this side. So this side's gonna look like this, right? Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna flip this over and put my glue down. my bat okay let's see so I'm lining things up as we go along and I feel like that is good okay so here is basically our 3d letter this is the back this is gonna be the side, right? We still need to glue down the, the tabs here to make sure that they stick. So I'm just going to um, dab a little bit here. And here you could, if you wanted to, after you stick this down, and hopefully my paper clipping skills will be better this time. Here we go. I can keep it like that to make sure that it stays in place. Then I need to do that over here as well. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. And then I'm gonna move, flip this out, grab another paper clip, and put this one down and hold it in place. Okay. So while I'm doing that, I sort of wanna, I wanna flip these a little bit up so that when I put the glue down, it'll bounce up and it will stick to this on top. So that's kind of what I'm hoping will happen. So I kind of flip it out then flip it down like this but not press down completely because i want it to kind of like bounce up right okay now because no one sees the inside you could at this point add more glue to make sure that your 3d letter stays in place again it just depends on if you think like if you have a toddler around that's going to be picking this up a lot and you want it to be really really durable then i would do that um so it's a little bit hard to reach there so sometimes what i do is i'll just take my glue gun and drip down the glue in there just to make sure that nothing is going anywhere <laughs> so here you can just make sure that you know on the on the the middle of the tabs And I'm super messy on this one because I can be. So just keep that in mind because this is going to be completely covered, right? Okay. All right, so my letters are stable. So now I'm going to add the glue on top, on the top tabs here. Then we're gonna put our top layer, our O, right on top. Oops. So hold it while it's drying to keep its place. This gray, it's black, grayish, it's like gunmetal. I don't know how else to describe it, I love it. It's that spooky feeling that I just need. So here we go, we have our box. Super easy, right? And it's just so cute. So here is, it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna be B-O-O, -O. they're all different. All right, so let's still work on this one. And I can see it didn't totally glue down, so. It's still moving a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue right here. And then press.
press down. Okay, so let's work on our haunted house. So our haunted house, I did a double layer. Here's my vellum, 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 <laughs> the base, basically the thin paper. I'm gonna put it over like this and I'm gonna glue it down. So um, I'm gonna glue it where I know the, um, the windows aren't, right? So. I don't need a lot of glue. I just need to make sure it's not going anywhere. So that way, when my lights are underneath, I'm gonna try one right now so you can see it. See, spooky. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. All right, and then with your scary music, it's going to be perfect. All right, so we've got that down. So what I was thinking is we need to make sure that we have access to this little guy and the and the um, little white paper. So I got this on Amazon. When the little paper is inside this slot, then the lights turn off. So we want to make sure, like for instance, maybe this would be good right here because we can glue it down and from behind, we can pull the little slit out, okay? So we can maybe do that one. And I wonder if we off-center it like this, then we can put one here and one here. And the light is gonna go a long ways. So let me um, pull out the thing now. I'm sticking this through and I'll show you so see that one light will give off enough that's really good okay and then we'll do one right there and one right here I think that'll be perfect okay so now that we know, what we can do is, um, I'm gonna put the slit back in. I'm gonna lay them all right now so that we know where they, where they go. One more. I'm gonna try to fit one more in here, right there. And you know what? We might be able to fit one right here. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna do four lights. So we know where they go. What we can do now is we can glue it down. So I'm gonna glue all around it to make sure that the light bulbs stay in place. The only thing we can't glue down is the little piece of paper inside, right? But this will keep our lights in place. And we can reinforce in a little bit when we see if we need to. So right now I just want to make sure that I glue it down enough so it's not going anywhere but not gluing down our paper where we can't pull it out. And the other thing that we can do too is we can glue down, let me get more of my glue stick. We can make sure that this paper is, is um, anchored properly so we can glue all around it, right? Because we know this is gonna be covering all of it. So it's okay to really glue this thing down. So let me grab my glue stick. Here we go. All right. So 
I'm gonna glue in between the windows to make sure it's really down. Can you tell I'm paranoid? <laughs> All right. I feel like that's down really, really well. Okay. So now what we can do is we can put this on top and this I'm trying to think how I want to put this one down. I'm going to put the glue not on the actual light but just around it and it's going to be enough because I just need this to stick enough and I'm not putting it on the actual light but I'm going to press down and make sure that this gets on there. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just attaching this. The other thing that we can do is you can, um, I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue from the top to the bottom to make sure it sticks. Okay, so let's work on the bats. The moon is gonna go somewhere behind, I think, or maybe up here. I'm not sure where I'm putting the moon, but let's work on the bats. So this one, I wanna put foam tape to add an outline, and then I wanna fold in the wings a little bit so it's not looking so flat. So I'm gonna put this down And I want to make sure this stays in place. So I know I'm super paranoid. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this down. And then afterwards, I'm just going to bend it up a little bit. But this is going to look amazing somewhere on this back here. Um, same thing with this little guy. I'm going to add it here. Add a little bit of glue. So there's my little bat. Okay, let's look at this. Did this stick? A little bit. Oh, not completely. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to build, I'm gonna take this off for a minute because it's stuck a little bit, but not enough. Okay, I'm gonna build in the middle a tower. <laughs> and we're gonna glue it all down. It needs to be higher, at least of equal height or higher than our lights, right? Okay, so here we go. This thing is just gonna be one big glued down thing. It is dripping with glue. All right.
And then you just want to hold it in place for it to dry. It's still really hot. Okay. So we've got that. Let's look at our moon. Our moon, I had to layer as well, right? So let's just give it some dimension. I'm gonna add my glue. I just love this. Okay, so let I'm gonna turn on the lights while we're waiting. And actually, I'm gonna add more glue to make sure it's really stuck. So I'm just gonna go in between. Still looking good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So cute. So cute. I, I mean, so scary. <laughs> That's how whenever my daughter comes to me with her Halloween costume and everyone says, oh my gosh, you look so cute. I'm like, you mean scary. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to hold this down. I put so much glue, so it's still drying. And in the meantime, I know we're just like really gluing this sucker down. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone for a minute. Let's put on our bat somewhere. I mean, we could put it like back here. Actually back here would be good because it's so big. So let's do that. So I'm gonna put the glue here. and then put it down. Then the moon I'm gonna put, I could, I wonder if there's just any space at all. I was gonna say squeeze it in there, but I don't think so. We can do something like that. See, you see how pretty that paper is when the light shines on it? It's so good. Okay. All right, so let's do this one. This is still drying, it's still so hot. Okay. I think I might just put this one here. That looks like a good spot for it, huh? Maybe add. I know, I'm always layering. Just so things aren't all at the same height and not so flat. Okay, here we go. All right. So that's all done. I'm letting that dry a little bit longer. And then we can add some cobwebs. So I'm pulling it on the side and then I'm going to add it to kind of like
can wrap it through a little bit. It could also be fog. I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's gonna look something like that. Okay, so now, da, 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 let me turn on my lights. I'm gonna need tweezers because my fingers aren't gonna fit in there. So let me see, where do I have my tweezers? Oh, here we go. Let me see if I have better tweezers. Give me one. Oh, I do. These are much thicker. Yes. Yay, you ready? Da, da, da. There is, I'm just missing my B. Okay, I am in love. So you can add colors, you can make it whatever you want. So I have one more letter coming. It's the B and it's gonna have some serial killers and some blood on it, but I'm so excited. All right, I hope that was helpful. So you can see, basically you could take any images and start adding them. It could be any 3D letter, but the structure is the same. Um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you.